Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Niche. My name is Eros and we're currently playing the Queen Bee Challenge. Unfortunately, there was an update in between episode number one and this episode number two of the Queen Bee Challenge. So that means I have to start over with a completely new tribe and see what we can do with that. I have renamed our Adam and Eve. So we have Queen Xena and we also have Xandar. Um, over here. So they will be our Adam and Eve and be our starter um, couple of this tribe. We will have to see how it goes and hopefully we can make lots of healthy babies. And we are also doing the um, A to Z name type of challenge thing too, where we name the different um, babies that we have based off the letters of the alphabet. So the first baby that we have is going to be starting with an A name and so on and so forth. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited. So let us go and make a Queen Bee um, tribe. So first things first, we're going to breed to start off with our Queen Bee making these babies. Uh, Adam, let's see, let's go ahead and take a look at their traits <laughs> really quickly too. Uh, it looks like we have a six fertility for, um, or excuse me, Xandar. Uh, it's going to take me a while to get used to that, but Xandar, he has six fertility. He has four speed, two swimming, um, two collecting, two strength. He has the venomous, poisonous, poisonous fangs. He also has immunity F. He has eyesight two, hearing three, smelling one, and stealth two, and cold resistance number two. And for Queen Xena, we have three speed. One swimming, we have three collecting, one strength, one cracking, we have one heat resistance, we have two cold resistance, we have two, three scentless, uh, we have four stealth, two smelling, three hearing, two eyesight, um, one immunity A, and fertility six. Alright, so I'm excited to see what type of babies we're going to have. Let's take a really quick look and see what type of genes they have. And we are going to be going into the mutation menu to try to make some really, really healthy babies. Uh, so I see they both have short-sighted eyes and they're an active slot. So we're going to go ahead and go into the mutation menu and grab out some normal eyes and put it in the 30% to make sure that we get some good um, seeing creatures. We're also going to, to, let's see, let's take a look. Hindlings, wed hindlings. I don't really think we want any water creatures so we're gonna go ahead and see if we can try to take out webbed legs and put in some normal hind legs so we're going to go and put that in the 10 percent for now let's see what is this normal hind legs there we go all right and let's see it has orange eyes it's a new thing as well but for baby number one is about to be born let's go ahead and have adam use up his moves to collect some different grasses and let's see, can Eve actually do anything else? It doesn't look like she can, but she's gonna have a brand new baby. So Queen Xena, baby number one, is going to be do 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 a beautiful little baby spotted boy, who has the spots just like his mother and the light colored um skin just like his father. He also has these beautiful chocolate eyes. Oh yeah, and he also got the mutation menu. He got um double hind legs and normal eyesight, which is awesome. So no short-sighted eyes for this little guy. Uh, let's see, fertility three. Um, he has A and G immunities. Everything looks pretty good here. Um, he does have the spiky body though. Oh, he's gonna be a little spiky body. Um, short snout and medium ears and no horns. So we're gonna go ahead and name him with an A name. And I think a name for him would be Arrow because he has these really like spiky little um, <laughs> spikes on his body, like little arrows. So that is absolutely amazing. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and move Queen Xena over here. And she can go ahead and breed once again with Xandar. And Xena can go ahead and collect some berries and also pop down a brand new nest so she can have baby number two. And there is another berry bush over there, which is awesome. Yay! Uh, let's do a really quick check to see what we can hear. And we do hear some moles that are around this area. And we do smell this berry bush here. And there are also some roots over there as well. So that's going to be pretty cool to find. And one over here. Awesome! Alright, so let's go ahead and see what baby number two is going to be. Ooh, my goodness. We have a beautiful baby girl. Oh my goodness, she also has these gorgeous, like, chocolate-looking eyes. And we're gonna go ahead and name her. Should we name her Brownie? Cause the beautiful eyes. Um, beautiful Brownie. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. I love her stripes too. Um, she also got the normal eyesight from the mutation menu, which is why it's yellow right here. 
and she has normal hind legs. She has nimble fingers, runner's leg, medium bottom, short snout, medium ears. She has B and G immunity. All right, so she is pretty healthy overall. So that's pretty exciting to see um, that Xena and Xander are making some very healthy babies. Uh, let's have Xander go ahead and collect um, the berries that are over in this brand new. Um, oh, there's another nest right there. Awesome. Queen Xena. You can go ahead and pop in this nest and make another baby. And there is also a mole. We can go ahead and collect that mole um, in the next turn. And I think we can actually take Arrow and pop him out of the nest right there. All right. I love this little tribe. I love how we're getting boys and girls because sometimes when I have a tribe, we kind of get um, overwhelmed with all females or all males so it's nice that we're getting a variety and we also are getting some different colors and variations so oh, this tribe is so cool the queen bee challenge is the best uh, all right so baby number three has been born and she is a little girl let me go ahead and actually clear out this grass a little bit so we can see her a little bit better and she is really gorgeous too she also carries the spots just like her mother and she also has the beautiful chocolate eyes as well and let's see, looks like she has no tail. She's also a spiky bodied creature. Um, the spiky body gives you plus one spikiness, plus two strength, and plus one scentless. Uh, all right, and everything else, she looks pretty healthy overall. All right, awesome. Nimble finger, she's gonna be good for collecting. Uh, we're gonna name her with a C name, and I think a really good C name for her would be Clove. Should we name her Clover? Let's name her Clover. That would be pretty cute. Little Clover right here. Absolutely adorable. We can go ahead and move Brownie out of the nest right here. And Xena can go ahead and pop back over here. Collect some of these berries um, as well. We can have Ad um, Xandar. I keep saying Adam. <laughs> it's such a habit to just call them Adam and Eve. But I really like changing up the name sometimes. Um, but Xandar, um, he's going to go ahead and breed with her and collect some berries that are over this way. And little Arrow is getting a little bit older. He can come over here and collect the food uh, from this mole. Oh, actually, there's another mole right here. Why don't we go ahead and fight that mole and get lots and lots of food? I love this tribe. We're making cute little babies. They're so cute. They are just so cute. All right. So the next baby is going to be... Doo -doo -doo. Ooh, another little girl. Oh no, we are getting the curse of the girls. Oh no. All right, so a beautiful baby little girl. She also is born with spiky body. So what I might do is actually go into bodies. And I'm th not too sure exactly what we want to do. Because um, there are a couple options that we can um, take. And I really, really, really like your input on what you guys think we should go. So over here, I think, goes to a very peaceful, flowery-looking island, which might be the best bet for us. Um, and then over here is the jungle, and then over this way is the really hard island, which I don't think we're ready for the hard island. Um, so best bet, we might go to the flowering island, or maybe even the jungle island. Uh, Alright, so I'm not really sure what type of body we should go for. If we're going to go for the jungle island, I think lean body would be a pretty good... Um, pretty good for that. Uh, let's go ahead and put lean body um, in where the normal hind legs are to see if we can get a, um, some creatures born with some lean bodies instead of having a bunch of creatures born with these spiky bodies. Uh, let's go ahead and let's see. We need to rename this beautiful little girl. And we are on D, so we are going to go ahead and name her Daisy. Beautiful little Daisy. It's almost fun to Name our little nichelings um, based off the ABC type of rule too. <laughs> We're having so many really awesome rules for this uh, for this challenge. Um, Brownie, you can go ahead and start collecting some of the different grasses out in this area. And Adam, you can go ahead and collect some food right here. And I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna have Eve go ahead and pop over here, collect up some of these grasses really quickly. And let's go ahead and collect that grass. We're going to take a break from having a baby in the next turn. We don't want to have too, too many babies. And I wonder if we will find a wandering creature on this little starter island. I'm not too sure. Uh, but let's go ahead and see what the next turn is going to bring us. And some of our creatures have aged up. So why don't we go ahead and have baby Daisy go ahead and pop out of the nest. We can go ahead and, and have... Let's see. Why don't we put Queen Xena back over here so she can go ahead and collect the berries from this tree. She can go ahead and breed with her mate Xandar and he can go ahead and collect some of these berries. 
And then we have Little Clover. She can go ahead and collect some of the grasses that are around here. And Arrow can also go ahead and collect some of the grasses too. And Brownie, doing a good job. Uh, we'll probably, actually, yeah, we probably will go to the Flowering Islands just so we can get um, breeding and get some very important genes that we're going to need. So I think we'll start moving our creatures um, down over this way to be able to go to the Flowering Island. Uh, let's have Adam actually go ahead, or Xandar, uh, remove the grass right here. And the next baby is going to be an E baby. Um, in the last uh, Queen Bee episode, I forgot the E. We can't forget the E, guys. E before F. You think I would know that being E Rose and my name starting with an E. But here we go, a little E baby. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, we got some changes in here. Little changes, a beautiful little girl who is born with the cracker jaw, which is pretty interesting. She also is born with spiky body, so that means she has no tail. Uh, she has A and G immunity, and let's see, everything looks pretty good. She does have the very beautiful stripes, uh, normal hind legs, nimble fingers, runner's leg, very nice. We're going to go ahead and name her um, little Ellie right here. Uh, I'm pretty excited that she has cracker jaw, so she's going to be able to collect all different types of nuts. And it looks like Errol is actually old enough to start breeding his own if we were able to find a mate for him. Uh, but why don't we take um, Arrow, our oldest child, and start moving him towards the flowering island. And let's go ahead and take Brownie, and we can go ahead and move her um, closer to the new island as well. Clover, with all of our little babies going in a row based on their age. Daisy, she can go ahead and start moving out this way as well. There we go. And why don't we go ahead and move Xandar. Uh, let's go ahead and have him collect some berries for now, actually. And Xena, she can go ahead and collect the berries that are over here, too. And why don't we go ahead... Oh, I fixed the nest. I wanted to take the nest down. There we go. We'll go ahead and take this nest down. And let's see. We're going to go ahead and have Xandar start moving out this way. Ahead of the pack. And then we'll have Queen Xena and Baby Elliot stay back over this way. Let's go ahead and skip the turn. And it looks like uh, Brownie has now aged up into a proper adult. Let's go ahead and have Xander clear the way to the flowering island this way. And Clover, she can make her way to stand over here. And let's go ahead and have her stand uh, right about there. And then Brownie, she can go stand right there. Then Arrow, let's go ahead and move him. So we have A, B, and C. Oh no, I wanted to move you here. There you go. A, B, and C. Uh, and then Daisy, you're going to come over here. And you're gonna stand over this way, I think. And then we can go ahead and move little Ellie. She can start moving down this way. It's gonna take her a while to get over here. Uh, and then meanwhile, mom is going to stay back a little bit ways and go ahead and collect some berries while we wait for little Ellie to make her way down this way. And there is a mole over here too that we can go ahead and catch if we want to. Let's go ahead and skip the turn. It looks like there is some rain. And then baby Ellie, she can start moving down this way. There we go. Uh, we can go ahead and have Xandar come over here and stand really close to the teleport to exit this island. And why don't we actually go ahead and move them up just a little bit. So there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and stand you there. Clover, you can go there. Daisy, you can start moving over here. Stand right there. And then Ellie, you can go ahead and stand over there. And then we'll have the queen um, come this way. Uh, let's have her move over here collect some berries really quickly. Let's go ahead and skip the turn. And then we can have baby Ellie start moving right about there. And then the queen, the queen is coming. The queen has arrived. There we go. The queen has made it to the flowering pads. And what we can do is have Xandar actually teleport us to the brand new flowering island. So I will see you guys once we get to the brand new island. And our queen bee tribe has arrived to the brand new flowering island. And this island looks really cool. There's lots of different rivers that flow through here. There are tons of different types of trees that we can gather. Looks like there is a hard mode island over this way and also a jungle island over this way and then another little flowering island over this way. Looks like we also did unlock some new mutations. Uh, we unlocked nimble fingers over here, which is pretty nice. Uh, looks like we are running a little bit low on food. I think I just skipped a turn on accident, unfortunately, uh, by looking over here. Uh, but let's go ahead and see if we can start finding some different food. Oh, looks like there is a mole over here, so we can go ahead and get that mole really quickly. 
have Brownie come over here and collect the meat of the mole, and now we are ahead. We now have enough food to sustain our little tribe that we have right now. So let's go ahead and start gathering up all of the different grasses to see if we can unlock anything that useful that our tribe can use, like different types of nests and different types of food sources. There we go, and then little Ellie, you can go ahead and pop over here. And then Arrow, you can go ahead and move this way. And let's see, let's have you move over here. There you go. And then you can also move over here as well. Let's do a really quick check to see what we can hear. And we can hear that there is some bunnies over there. And smell, we can smell that there is a berry bush right over here too, which is going to be nice because we do need some food. Our few little nichelings are going to get very, very hungry if we do not have access to a little berry bush. Uh, but let's go ahead and try to tra traverse through this area. Get rid of some of these different types of grasses. There we go. Go ahead and move you over here. Go ahead and lock all this area. Um, Xandar, why don't you come over here and start collecting all these different types. And Daisy, there you go Daisy, you can start moving over here. Oh, and there's another berry bush over here. Daisy, good job, sweetie. Uh, and then Brownie, uh, you can go ahead and why don't you move this way and start clearing up some of the grasses. And Queen Xena, why don't you come over here and stand in the middle of this pack. And why don't you go ahead and let's see. Doesn't look like we can reach the berries right now. Um, oh no, we are gonna take we're gonna take some damage in the next turn, because unfortunately we can get any berries. Uh, we are gonna turn Queen Xena into the alpha rank. Um, so she that she will not take any damage in the next turn. And let's see, the next queen, I'm not too sure who the next queen is going to be once Xena passes away. Uh, let's see. Uh, so far, um, the queens are, we can have Queen Brownie, uh, she has normal eyesight, she has normal hind legs, nimble fingers, and runner's leg. We can have Queen Clover, uh, she does carry the spiky body, which is interesting, but she does have sh the short-sighted eyes. We could have Queen Daisy, um, she also has a spiked, um, spiked body and short-sighted eyes, or we could have Queen Ellie. Um, I think we're gonna go so far, unless we have another female that we choose, is to have Brownie become the next queen. So I'm gonna change her to Princess right now. And she's also going to take the Alpha rank so that she does not take any damage. Uh, because quite few of our creatures are going to take some damage in the next turn because unfortunately we do not have enough food. Even though we are right next to two berry bushes. Let's go ahead and skip the turn. It is raining and oh yes, lots of damage all around. Let's go ahead and have everybody start collecting tons and tons of food that we can. Uh, ASAP, there we go. Gonna get all the food. All the food are belong to us now. Gonna get all the food. Oh, there is another berry bush over here too. Alright, let's go ahead and gather up this food. We don't want any more of our creatures to take any more unnecessary damage by starving while we do have a bunch of berry bushes right here. And let's go ahead and start clearing out this area. There we go. Let's go ahead and move you. Go ahead and take that out. And let's go ahead and move you. And is there some grass right there, it seems? Um, hmm. Oh, and there's a very, a very first nest that we found over that way as well. And then, let's see, let's have you go ahead and collect that grass. Awesome! And let's go ahead and skip the turn, and there we go. Go ahead and have you collect that grass. And everybody, everybody collect berries! We need tons and tons of berries for our tribe of creatures. We do not want to take any more damage. Let's go ahead and start collecting these different grasses. So we can go ahead and explore our territory and expand to see what we can find. There is another nest over this way as well, which is pretty nice to have. There are some bunnies over there that we're going to have to make sure that we chase away from our food because we don't want any of our bunnies, the bunnies over there, to um, eat the berries that our tribe desperately needs to eat. And then Queen Xena, she might have another baby. Uh, we could have her pop over here and have another baby pretty soon. And let's go ahead and have her collect some grasses right now, and we'll wait until the next turn for her to have another baby. And let's see, we might make our way to maybe this tree over here to see if we can go ahead and collect some nuts with little Ellie here. And let's go ahead and skip the turn and see what we have. Let's do a really quick check to see what we can hear. 
and we can hear that there are some moles over this way and what we can smell we can smell that there is a berry bush right over here and there's also some roots off in the distance over there and right here as well uh, let's go ahead and have xandar breed once again with our queen xena and she can go ahead and sit here and have her baby and go ahead and collect some of these berries as well and Xandar, unfortunately, he only has two more days left to live. I think we're going to go ahead and have him go out and explore. And Princess Brownie, I don't want her to go too far off into danger. Because she is going to be very important to our tribe as she is going to be the next um, queen. Unless we have a baby born right here who maybe could take over. We'll have to see. Because <laughs> uh, it can be any of the females of the tribe can take over once Prince once uh, Queen Xena passes away, so we'll have to see. Maybe we'll have them fight to the death in one of our instances. That'll be pretty cool to see, but not yet. Not yet. Uh, we don't have enough little niche things for that, but I would love to have like a story with this tribe and maybe have some siblings fight to see who's going to be the next queen. It could be pretty interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and see what the last baby that Xandar is going to father. And perhaps, probably the last baby that Xena is going to give birth to. So let's go ahead and skip the turn. And it is another little baby boy. And he is born. Um, he is next in line and going to have an F name. So we're going to head and name him Fox. I really like the name Fox for F name. So we have a little baby fox right here, and he was born with, let's see, normal eyesight, which is awesome, normal hind legs, um, he does have the webbed hind legs and is an active slot, he has nimble fingers and runner's leg, he has A and G immunity, alright, awesome, and it looks like, yes, it is Xandar's last day on this tribe, he's going to go out and see if he can collect any of the different types of grasses out this way. Um, Ellie, you can go ahead and collect grasses out this way as well. And let's see, let's go ahead and have you come out this way as two. Uh, Daisy, you can go ahead and pop here and collect some of the berries that are over in this tree. And then I think we do have, let's see, who are our collectors? We have Nimble Fingers from Princess Brownie. Uh, let's see, we have Velvet Paw. We have Nimble Fingers from Clover as well. And let's see, we have Nimble Fingers from Ellie and nimble fingers from daisy so we do have quite a few creatures who have the nimble fingers who will be able to collect all these berries that this tribe has we have a little trio of berries right here which is really nice to have let's we have queen xena over here to go ahead and collect some more berries over in this way and then arrow why don't you go ahead and start taking down some of these different grasses over in this area and daisy you can go ahead and take that grass down there we go and Queen Xena, you can come over here and stand to collect some berries in the next turn if we are able to. And little fox, you can go ahead and sit in the nest for now because you are too little to pop out of the nest. But let's go ahead and see what the next turn is going to bring. And it looks like, yes, Xandar has passed away, unfortunately. And that means Xena will be passing away in two days. Uh, unfortunately, I don't see any other males over here um, other than her sons. Uh, so we're not going to be able to breed Queen Xena anymore. So the next uh, creature who is going to have babies for the tribe is probably going to be Princess Brownie. She's going to take over and become queen. So we're going to have some switches in rain, which is going to be really, really exciting. Yay! Uh, let's go have her collect some of the different grasses over here. There was a mole right there, a holy moly. Uh, we're going to have to wait to get that mo those moles in just a second. Let's go ahead and move Fox out of the nest. And let's go ahead and start moving Ellie towards the tree that's over here. Oh, there's another berry bush too. Awesome! And Daisy, you can go ahead and collect the berries that are over this way too. And we can start moving Daisy down this way because we are going to make a change probably to this area. But I do still want quite a few creatures over in this area too to help collect the different berries that are going to be in this area. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's just have you come over here for now and start clearing out some more of this area. And let's see what the next turn has. And looks like little Fox has grown up just a little bit. You can go ahead and help out by collecting some of these different um, grasses and start to scare some of these bunnies away. Queen Xena is going to pass away in the next turn, which is going to be unfortunate. And that means we are going to have a brand new queen um, take over this tribe. So let's go ahead and start taking um, a bunch of food that we can. Clover is able to collect certain nuts too. Um, and also... Ellie is able to collect some nuts as well too, so you can go ahead and shake this tree. 
And let's see, okay, any of you come over here, collect some of the grasses over there, scare some of the bunnies away. And Princess Brownie, um, you're very excited to become queen very, very soon. She's waited her whole life to become queen and to rule over this tribe. And it looks like in the next turn, she's finally going to get her wish. Let's go ahead and see. And we have the death of a queen right there. And the death of the queen has brought a carnivore. How scary is that? So we're going to go ahead and switch Princess Brownie to Queen Brownie because she is now going to be queen and she is going to reign over this tribe and hopefully she can do a good job doing so and make some healthy babies and some good choices. Uh, we do have a carnivore over here so that's going to be interesting to see how this tribe is going to um, adapt and take on this carnivore. But I hope you guys enjoyed the very um, second episode of the Queen Bee Challenge and let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!